It was familiar territory for Harringay Borough this week as they faced fellow ground sharers Greenhouse London. Going into the match, Harringay had won seven out of eight games, taking them to the top of the league. In the early stages, Greenhouse were winning a physical midfield battle, but defensively it did not take long for cracks to appear. The deep defence was put under pressure, forcing two quick mistakes, and a wayward cross fell to Dan Aristidou, who coolly slotted home to make it 1-0. Unexpectedly, Greenhouse did not take long to reply. Haringey's defence fell to sleep to allow a free header which was unlucky to hit the bar, but was then finished by the unmarked Greenhouse striker to bring the scores level. Midway through the first half, some neat passing set up Lee Allen in the box, who was then clattered. Surprisingly, the referee waved play on. Towards the end of the first half, Greenhouse's defence hadn't learned any lessons from the first goal that they conceded. Dan Aristidou put an inviting cross which Lee Allen poked inches wide. More late first half pressure from Haringey set Dan Aristidou free, who did everything but score. At the break, the teams went in level at 1 1. After the half time break, Haringey started to press further and they finally got their reward on 60 minutes when a sweet cross was accidentally put in by the greenhouse defence. Shortly afterwards, more pressure from Haringey released Chris Morgan to let fly after this quick charge into the box, and Greenhouse London was struggling to mount anything serious in the final third. Another chance later fell to Daryl Cox, who probably couldn't believe how much time he actually had when the ball fell to him after another defensive mix-up from Greenhouse London. Isaac Jacob Marfo then demonstrated some great persistence and control to then feed Daryl Cox for Haringey's third on 85 minutes. Shortly afterwards, the referee called time on the match. The final score, Greenhouse London 1, Haringey Borough 3. The result keeps Haringey Borough at the top of the table with 8 wins out of 9. <laughs>